Hello everyone. Uh, today I will be giving you a quick uh, dashboard tour of your of the design section of your Shopney dashboard. We did our best to keep it as simple and easy as possible for you to design your app. And all you need to do is just dragging and dropping the design blocks available on the left side of your app menu onto the central design area and that's it. And after, uh, after you add the design block, you will see a right menu opening up. And this right menu is where you basically uh, edit and update that specific design block. Let's choose the content type first. I'm clicking on the button and I'm adding my collection. Please note that uh, you can also add custom images uh, as your collection images. So uh, when you navigate onto the image, you will see a mountain-like icon. And once you click on that, you can upload your custom image and click on done. And that's it. You can play with the display types according to your image. I will keep it at display or at auto for this one. You can give um, titles to the design blocks. So let's name it as shop now. And you can also change the content title positioning. So you can either keep it at inner, outer or hide it. For this one, I will uh, be hiding it and under that, I will be displaying some products. Again, I'm choosing the content type. Uh, I will go with automatic. Please um, always choose the, the setting as automatic for the best app performance. Clicking on continue, you will see the collections here. Let's go with straw bags. You can choose the number of products to display and you can also choose the collection sorting type. The sorting type comes through your Shopify website. Clicking on done and that's it. You can again play with the display types. Let's keep it at square for this one. You can play with the viewing sizes as well. What you can also do is that you can play with the margins you can change the content margin as well as the margin of the image itself. It de totally depends on your own taste of design. So just play around with it and see what you can come up with. We will be there to help you anytime. And now let's add a banner again. So I'm again choosing the image element i'm choosing the content type as collection if you do not want to link uh, a custom image to a collection then please choose web url element click on add an update button and i will now add a banner clicking on done and that's it for this one i will be hiding the titles and there we go. Clicking on save and update. And now I will be covering the menu section. The menu section is where you basically will be designing your apps navigation menu. So please uh, keep in mind that the showcase element must be at the top. Otherwise, the app, uh, the users will not be welcomed with a with the showcase. Rather, they will be welcomed with a product listing or any other item. So please make sure the showcase item is the first item of your app menu. And then the rest is the same. So you just uh, drag the design blocks and add them, drop them onto the central design area. You will have options here. So these are the default uh, menu items available on your Shopney dashboard. The rest will be covering your collections as well as your pages and blogs. When you first install, all these will be in sync with your Shopney app. 
So when you click on an item, again, you will see this right menu and you can uh, edit that item itself. So you can rename it, you can play with the alignments and you can also add menu icons. Again, we have some available on our dashboard or you can leave it at empty or you can add custom ones. Let's keep it to one line. And that's it. So this collapsible menu is actually designed specifically for your pages and blogs because it allows you to create like a drop down menu for them. So I will change the name to more. And as I mentioned, your pages will appear here. So you can just drag and drop them under this collapsible menu item. And that's it. Clicking on save and update. And now I will be covering the colors section. This uh, is the section where you will be uploading your store's logo. We, ha uh, we have written all the required uh, sizes and everything for the images. So please make sure they apply your images apply to these conditions here. Uh, otherwise, um, you will not be able to upload your app, uh, upload your image, sorry. And this is where you also will be deciding on the colors of your app. And you can see where each color will be affecting uh, which page of the app. So you can again change the chat color or the cart colors. All right. Uh, you can also, uh, on, in this color section, you see the stop navigation bar. So you can also change the icons here like these. We have some available. And clicking on save and update. And now I will be covering the Teams section of your Shopney dashboard. So we are currently offering eight different teams, each designed specifically for different business models and product photographies. So please uh, test out each team and see how your products will be displayed in this specific team, product images especially, because the teams will be affecting your product listing and detailed pages. Please. Uh, keep in mind that the theme will not affect the app showcase, but the product detail and listing pages. And to, to try out each theme, you just click on Watch in Action and you choose to continue with the theme and that's it. Uh, please also keep in mind that you will be able to preview your app after you make, you make each design. So you're clicking on preview and all you need to do is just scanning this QR code you see on the screen and that's it. It will direct you to install Shopney preview app uh, from the App Store or Google Play and you will, be, you will be able to test out all app functionalities before you go live, before you make a commitment. All right. Now I will be covering the deep link section. So deep links are great tools for app marketing. So you can think of them as links that take the person who clicks on that link to the content, um, to the content itself. So if the user, if the person who clicks on that link has already your app installed uh, on their mobile device, they will be directed to the app uh, or if they don't have it, they will be directed to App Store or Google Play to, to install your app. And to get the deep link of your products or collections, just click on the uh, item and you see this link here. And this is your deep link. Now let's cover the settings section. The settings section is where you will be uploading your app icon and the splash screen. So you will also 
be giving your app name here and if you're offering store pickup or local delivery options of your in your Shopify website please make sure to enable this setting you can enable discounts so this is a setting that enables um, the discount code to show up on the checkout screen so if you would choose that you will need you would need to enable the setting itself as well you can also choose specific timings to your abandoned cart notifications we have kept this time span between one hour as they give the most conversion rates and you will also be able to um, change the image scaling type for your product listing pages so you can keep them at scale to fail or scale to fit. This configure collection set, uh, setting allows you to give uh, app specific names to your collections. So this one here is the collection name on shop on the shopify website but you, you can give specific names for app specific names to these collections you can also hide these collections from the search bar of your shopney app so this is basically it for the design section and if you have any questions please feel free to contact our support team via live chat and we will be happy to help